Carol Baskin. Killed her husband, whacked him. Can't convince me that it didn't happen. Fed them to tigers, they snacking. What's happening? Carol Baskin. Good morning and what's up you beautiful people welcome back to the channel okay so uh, what are we talking about today guys we are going to talk about yes the one and only Chevy Corvette C8 now ooh, ooh, ooh. we got some good news you know I was doing some research and I seen it as you guys can see here they have the high performance model powertrain details leaked we're talking about uh, the C8 Z06 ZR1 was going on with production all the information so let's go ahead and look at some beautiful pictures and talk about it welcome back to the channel I know I'm a little day I'm like a day or two late um, I had the content when it came out I just never got to make the video so it's never too late for some great information let's go ahead and get to it guys if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and I'll see you guys at the end peace Okay, so let's talk about what we're seeing here. All right, we got the Z06 the ZR1 the Hybrid Zora saying that it will be using a 5.5 liter flat plank. Oh God, I can never get this right. Flat plane crank V8 engine. The Grand Sport could, again could, be using a hybrid version of the 6.2 liter V8 that is currently used in the uh, base model C8. So guys, we all know about the C8, everybody knows about that, but there are many high-performance C8 Corvette models to come. Remember, there is a base model that is out right now, which is the Stingray. You got the Grand Sport, you got the ZR1, you got the Z06, you got the Zora Hybrid. I mean, you have so many things that are coming, so just stay uh, motivated. So the Z06, the ZR1, the Zora Hybrid is using the 5.5. Uh, flat plane crank V8 engine. The Grand Sport may have the hybrid. We talked about that. Um, they are have. They're saying there's leaked documents found on Haggerty. If I'm pronouncing that right, that's what um, Cars and Drivers is stating in multiple websites. You guys probably been seeing over the last few days. Okay, so what we're seeing here is that the Z06 will arrive first in the 2022 model. So if it's 2022 model, it's probably going to be out in 2021. So yes, next year, still keeping on track with the Grand Sport arriving in 2023. If it's going to have that hybrid part portion of it, that's going to be pretty cool. And the ZR1 for the 2024 and the Zora has um, the Zora probably being pushed back to the 2025. So let's go ahead and pull up what we have here for each of the brands, each of the information and talk about it. Already knew that these higher end um, performance models could be making 600 to 1000 horsepower with turbocharged possibly electric motors and different stuff. Having that nice 5.5 we know the uh, flat plane crank kind of sound is like a Ferrari that high revving high RPM kind of thing. Me and some subscribers talked about it possibly not being so fun in the lower ends but in the higher ends like the Ferrari typically does. New information does suggest that the Grand Sport variant could be powered by a hybridized version of the 6.2 V8. Um, they said the 2020 Corvette Stingray, that platform, they'll just probably add the hybrid to the front, which will bring it from the 495 to about 600 if they decide to add that. And we know you typically when it comes to hybrids, that motor is only going to assist typically with launching and low uh, low power and the low, low phases, not really the high end. Um, according to leaked documents obtained by Haggerty again, the leak information also lays out the model year, the powertrain of all the upcoming high performance Corvette variants. Adding new details and documents that they have already uh, known about Chevy plans. So here is what uh, car Cars and Drivers specifically predicts and I'll go ahead and throw it up each personally uh, pertaining to what car we're talking about. So let's go ahead and start this off with the 2022 Z06. So here goes this beauty, the 2022 Z06. Again, this is all not official. This is what, um, you know, specs and stuff that they've drawn up. So Cars and Drivers stated that the C8 Z06 will use the, they already know that it's going to use a naturally aspirated uh, DOHC 32 valve 5.5 liter V8 with the flat plane crank. Uh, just like we talked about like the Ferrari V8s typically, um, that's the biggest competitor that Chevy is actually going for with this model of C8. Uh, we know that it's going to rev about 8500 to about 9000 RPM. Um, Haggerty Leaks does say that it's producing about 650 horsepower, 600 pounds of torque. 
Uh, that means, you know, 5.5 liter would produce about 118 horsepower per liter, 20% more than the Ford Mustang Shelby GT350, 5.2 liter fl uh, flat plane crank V8, which has an output about 101 horsepower per liter. We expect the C8 Z06 to go on sale in early 2021 as a 2022 model. So you guys can, again, look for that next year. Um, starting about 85000 I think that is amazing price. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the next car the 2023 Grand Sport. So when it comes to the Grand Sport, guys, I mean, it's going to, just like the C7 Grand Sport, it's going to have the same kind of body element. Think about the, uh, you know, usually the Grand Sport has the same motor as the base model, just the body of the Z06. Now, possibly for the 2023 Grand Sport, it's going to have the same body of the Z06 and maybe a hybrid motor. So technically, yes, the same base 6.2 liter V8, not the 5.5, but it's going to have an additional possible hypothetical hybrid motor to it. Whether that be one or two, we're not sure yet. Whether, whether this hypothesis is correct or just an educated scientific guess, we don't know yet. We're just talking about it, guys. Um, again, there's multiple sources for you guys to check. I'll put a couple links in the description below. So we know as Chevy tradition, a Grand Sport will arrive after the Z06. This time around, we expect it to be powered by the same naturally aspirated 6.2 liter found in the 2020 base model Stingray, but it could have an electric assist according to the Haggerty leaks again. So Cars and Driver did reach out to Chevy for confirmation. The spokesman uh, said the automotive, the automaker will not engage in speculation of potential future products because a leak is a leak and they're not going to verify that. This uh, leak document is you know, if the leak document is correct, we expect Chevy with the hybrid co um, components from the ZR1 variant pairs with the 6.2. The only reason Chevy could offer Grand Sport as a hybrid would be that it could use the existing electron, um, electric powertrain and plug and play. Here it could make up to 600 horsepower, 500 feet pounds of torque. Um, is well, again, what Haggerty is saying, the leak site. What do you guys think about that? I want to know in the comments below, especially with all the 2024 ZR1, the 2023 Grand Sport the 2022 Z06 which one is sounding amazing honestly this is I could have taken one surprise a week rather than all in one day because oh man my taste buds are tingling I don't even know why but they are this is amazing information great content I hope you guys enjoy it if you guys already watched it I, on another site hey you know what they did beat me to it but it is what it is I'm still gonna bring that information out to you guys because that's what we are about ab about really Josh come on that's what we are about but let's go ahead and now let's talk about this Z O. Or oh, wow, Z06 we already spoke about. Let's go ahead and talk about the ZR1. Sorry about that. 2024 ZR1 is up next. Look at the body. Look at the body on it. Beautiful, beautiful car. Um, so we know the ZR1 will use a 5.5 liter um, flat plane crank V8 also, like every other model except the base. And the Grand Sport possibly. Um, but it will trade the Z06. Uh, red line with a pair of power uh, inflating turbo. So we know it might have turbos. Pretty much all this gibberish is just saying, hey, so we speculate that it will have turbos. Um, I was expecting the ZR1 to have the hybrid and the Z06 to have the turbos. But you know what? They know what they're doing, so I just keep it shut on that. And again, the turbos can be spooled at low. And when it comes to the hybrids, typically, again, you use those when it comes to launching and probably like anything over 80 or 60 or 50, whatever, you know, those hybrid motors cut out and then you're just on a regular motor. So that's pretty cool. So it will have a removable rear wing and a front suspension that can automatically adjust ride height with the speed to move the center of pressure to increase downforce, um, optimum handling balance. Twin turbo supercharged or twin turbocharged engine will put about 850 horsepower and 825 feet pounds of torque and it will still not be the most powerful Corvette yes that is it because our next car is even more crazy we're talking about what exactly the 2025 Zora so the all-new Zora variant will be powered by the 5.5 liter. Um, we know that in conjunction with an electric motor, that can add 100 to 150 horsepower. The electric motor will live, um, will be live and will live in the front of the trunk, you know. So expect front space, trunk space, whatever you want to call it to be complete deleted when it comes to the Zora. I think with the Z06 or the ZR1 to be specific with those turbos, if they do rear mounts, probably they will, of course, um, since it is a mid-engine. I think that trunk in the back is going to be gone. I think the Z06 is going to probably delete that as well because that long boxy Z, um, Cor Camaro look on that 
base model 2020 C8 right now isn't really the way to go. That's just my personal opinion. Guys, let me know how you feel in the description below. So the Z06 will be powered, um, will be the most powerful Z06. We know the Zora, again, the Zora will be the most powerful C8, uh, producing 1,000 horsepower, 975 torque. The Zora all-wheel drive, um, so we know all-wheel drive, instantaneous torque, oh my god, with the uh, electric and the, the, the twin turbos and electric motors up front. So... It's going to be the best of both worlds. It's going to have a little bit of Z06 and a lot more ZR1 in there. And you put both of those cars together and this is what you got. We know you put the base model and the Z06 together, you get the Grand Sport. You put the Z06 and the ZR1 together, you got the Zora. So that's cool. They're just upping it, upping it, upping it. So that is pretty cool to see. That is pretty cool to hear. Let me know what you guys think. I do not want to make this video too long, guys. I appreciate your time and everything, your effort and everything. The channel is growing. I appreciate it. I think this month... Um, in the last 15 days we got like 45 subscribers which is amazing I don't care if it was two that counts and that means a lot to me I hope it means a lot to you guys I hope it means that it's bringing more attention and more people to the channel and that is the best thing possible well until next time guys it's your boy Josh here with Super Sport Enthusiast GM Corvette Chevy good toodles to you I love it again I'm a huge fan we know I got the muscle car side but I like the sportier side and I'm gonna be coming to you guys soon when the Z06 comes, bet my word, if you can keep it at 85, I'll probably have to push it in 90 for something because, you know, tax and all that stuff. But, hey, I'm working my way up, all right? Just like if you guys watch Tall Guy and Organic and stuff, he's actually shooting for the SVJ, but sometimes you have to humble yourself and probably just get the SV or just get the Aventador. So that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to just jump into a, I had a Camaro, all right, SS, jumped into the uh, ZL1. Had a ZL1 for a year. Now I might jump into the Z06. After the Z06, I might jump up to the ZR1. But you got to do baby steps. Financially, all right? You got to do what you got to do. And then also mentally, just make sure you plan. Because family comes first. It's car stuff. Comes second kind of thing, you know? A God above all. Don't let me forget. God above all. But guys, until next time, it's your boy Josh. Super sport enthusiast, man. I love you. I respect you. And I damn sure salute you, baby. Stay safe, stay in the house, stay clean, drink some Germex, and uh, take your bleach shots. Peace. Your reflection in my wine glass. That's when I look away. Can't stand anything about losing your fine ass. How the fuck I let you slip away? Life for the party, but I'm dead inside. Kill my vibes, it was genocide. Hard to